It's okay, the garage is a mess. It's okay. So we're fixing the headlight for this today. It took forever to remove the glue to take it apart because the bulb is blown. It took me a couple hours to use this glue, to remove this glue. I used just a, a knife, utility knife. I just kept uh, going around the edges until the glue finally was all out of there. As you can see, the bulb is blown. We're gonna replace that, clean this all out real good. This one had a leak for the, um, just glued that back up for the golf cart, the three-wheeler golf cart. But we got some, some good news today. Something in that box and the coil came today. It's a little bit bigger for the golf cart. And my brother had, he had a bunch of like parts laying around and he brought me this guy. Solenoid. So, are those a little bigger, should work. Same concept, we put, coming off 12 volts and we gotta ground it, kind of make it, ground it to the frame and get it up there real good. This should be good to go after, after I do all that. But my main focus right now is this guy. The gas tank for this, let me show you guys this, I'm gonna show you guys. This. Yeah, so this gas tank is leaking underneath this brace. And it's seeping along the sides here, all up through this. And this is has, this is gonna have to be uh, removed and then fixed. But we're not going back with this right now. That's why I got it, it's still gas in here. So I got it facing this way, cause the gas is seeping out of here. Although I fixed this perfectly, the gas is seeping from this crack, along this crack and it's running down here. So we put this to the side. I had a small fuel cell, 10 by 10 by 10. It's gonna fit perfect back there. Uh, I got a bunch of AN fittings. These are AN 10 and I'm not worried about the top. So we're gonna come out the bottom. Got an AN 10 fit in here, an AN 12 fit in here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use this side. Take this, um, I'm gonna cap this off, show you guys all this. Got a bunch of AM fittings. It's gonna fit perfectly back there, perfect. And it's aluminum, we gotta worry about the inside of it getting all messed up. Smaller, compact, can hold four gallons. So this is perfect for this. So guys, the new clutch came in and it's, it's not gonna work. It's key, so I finally got this one apart. I'm gonna try to rebuild this one. Same up everything, but it's keyed. You see right there. And man, it's not. The opening is the same, but man has a bushing in it. Man. I'm about, to, I'm about to send that back and try to rebuild this one. I'm try to rebuild this one, guys. Now obviously, we got a spring issue here. It's not moving whatsoever. And I'm quite sure it's seized. So I gotta get it off the shaft without damaging anything. And hope for the best. So let me try to get this free. These are pucks. Let's see how that little ramp is. I see to the front. Like that. So we're gonna pull all these out and try to get this out. The spring is in here. Obviously, I got to move the sun. Let's see. I got to move a little bit. You gotta keep tapping on it and keep spraying inside using this stuff. It's freeing up everything. All right, guys. I should have probably did this in the, out the gate. I probably can get this to work. It's just so rusted out on here. It's not allowing it this to push back. The spring is the spring is good. It got great tension. And Rust it all in there real bad. It wasn't sliding back on this. It should slide back easily on this. All right, guys, so I'm about to put this board to work. I'm cleaning up all this stuff. Um, you know what? I may just let the, this sit in my rust uh, remover. And that's what I probably do. My secret rust uh, remover. 
Okay, guys, we about to go to work. Who told us? If you ain't seen this review on my channel about this, guys, this stuff is amazing. Nothing removes brush better than this. Nothing. I've tried everything. It has to have this tag on it. Yeah, we gonna we got this bucket here, and we are gonna put these parts in here and get them all cleaned up. Watch. Get these rubber gloves on. Let's get this rust out of here. <laughs> Look at the rust falling off, guys. <laughs> Look at the rust falling off. Oh, wow. Guys, it's only been not even a minute. Look at this. It's just snatching the rust off that stuff. Okay, guys, look at this stuff working. The, <laughs> the metal coming back almost like new, man. It's foaming up. It is releasing up. Older, so but look, you guys seen how the metal was on that cover, and this thing is looking incredible. All these pieces are gonna look really nice when I take them out of here. So um, let me uh, finish. Uh, I did want to use them two bottles if I wanted to kind of uh, that, that is soak some. So this is what you need right here. To say that, so I'll take it out in a, in a little bit and I'll put it. Uh, it's been about maybe 30 minutes max, max, and that's pushing it because I went to the store and I have to come back, but about 30 minutes max. All right, here we go. Look at this, man. That's the color of it. It's, it's pitting up in here, all the rust is gone. Let me sand this down a little bit more. There's not a speck of rust on this one. I didn't rinse them off with water. I used some um, breaking parts cleaner to remove the the solution from it. After I drained them, and this is the color of the metal. You can actually see why I was beating on it with the little hammer. There's no rust on this. not rust that's the color of the paint or whatever coating they had on it that's the color of that got a little bit in here I could have got that out it's probably just gonna fall out anyway Okay, guys, I've used my wire brush with the drill. Try to get this as smooth as I can. Pit it pretty bad, but just wanted to get it to work. So I'm gonna put it back together and see how it feels. How does it move? And I'll go from there. Okay, guys, it appears to be functioning pretty good. Get it back together now and um, see what we got. It's moving smoothly and freely on that shaft. Okay, I gotta get it back on that shaft. I gotta put the cover over it first and get the boat in so them, these pucks won't fall off because the motor is in the vehicle and um, we should be okay. Or I might just put the 
Lure part on first, the belt, then um, put this cover over. Let's see what we got. All right, we're gonna go in like this, and then get the other part on. And it should be all good. All right. <laughs> Man, this is tough. I had to almost lay down in the machine to push that on there just to make sure it this front dust cover go in those keyways. Otherwise, it won't, it will not work. And it was just tough. I was able to hold it and get a couple threads started on that bolt, and I was good. So uh, let me get some air on this and shoot this up real quick. Alright, we tighten now. I'm not sure what the source brakes are. I know we're tight now, good enough. We have the lock washer in the front right there. And I wedge this long uh, flathead screwdriver in here. Use the air. And I got it pretty tight. I put a little bit more torque force on it. My torque wrench. And um, but I think we're good. We're good, we're good. Watch the belt. So watch the draw in and uh, we're gonna see. Time to start up in a minute. Okay, we're gonna put the gas tank in and see. Again, we should be good to go. Let me get some of the smoke out of here. All right, put the gas tank in. I got a cap for that. Put the cap over there in a second. Just making sure my holes, everything line up. I'm gonna run it. That's good. And now, like so, straps gonna go around it. it actually fit pretty good in there. Does I like it? It's not affecting anything. It's in the cut, and I still got room for the seat and have room for whatever else I want to do. Okay, look. So I got the straps we way away from the shaft, so we gotta worry about nothing touching anything or burning out on anything. Way up over the shaft. I don't care if you press down on it, it's not moving. Pressing down, it ain't budging sit on the top of that strap that's tucked under there. Uh, we putting a cap right here. We got an A-N fit in here. Kind of fabricated me something to fit. And I'm gonna put a, just a cap over that. I got some rubber stoppers that got hooks on top of them. So I'll hook the strap to that when they come. They kind of bolt in, bolt in, um, those holes and you can tighten them down sort of like a grommet style like that and hopefully it should stop up those holes I'm quite sure it'll be fine and if I have to get water out of here I just can remove them easily but um, other than that we're okay I'll straighten this out a little bit better just want to get it a mock fitting first and then I'll set the seat in in a second See how that fits, cause I haven't tried it yet. It's just sitting over there, waiting. All right, we pretty much ready to go. Just gonna do the wire harness a little bit better. Yeah, look at the makeshift seat for right now. <laughs> it's nice, man, it's decent for right now, guys. It's decent. From nothing, man, we can't, we ain't had nothing to work with, man. We look nice now. So I'm gonna get the, plug the wires up and get some wire ties in here and we should be uh, ready to go. I'm just gonna put the, I gotta put the uh, 
starter solenoid on this. So I got a new battery. Starter solenoid and uh, coil is bad. And move this out the way. So tomorrow I'm in attack mode to get this ready to go. Just about to hook them wires up and try to wire tie it a little bit better. Got the LEDs. The LEDs looking real nice. The LEDs looking lit. Ready to go. We should be powered tomorrow. Our backlight is still busted. At least we got power running back there already. I just gotta put something. Put an LED light back here too. I'm gonna place this. Cause it's almost impossible for me to get these screws out without damaging it. So I can't drill them out. I'm just gonna put a better light. This is old. We put an LED light in here too. Fuel seal back there looking good. Four gallon tank. That may be a five gallon. That may be a five gallon. I was told it was a four gallon, but that's, it's 12 cube. So that, that may be a five gallon tank. It's pretty deep. And, uh, and actually got all the room, seat is in, and I'm about to do the wires right now. I'm probably gonna give me a little harness to run across here. I want some one to drop on down here. So already enough stuff going on. And I need that cover so bad. This is dangerous. You gotta ride with like some swimming shoes on in here. Or some shoes. I got some Nikes that don't have laces in them. So I'll be wearing those. You can't have no laces. I'm trying to test drive this thing. You can lose a foot. Or do some bad damage to something. Or to a body part if you got a, your shoelace get caught in there. So I really need that cover. I've been searching diligently for it and I can't find it. And I heard they're super nearly impossible to find, but hopefully I should stumble across one, put that cover in here and it'll be nice and neat and this thing be ready to go. And like I said, we still gonna get the white paint, um, get the pressure washer, about to do a review on this amazing pressure washer right here. It's brand new. Got stuff on. Portable. Uh, it's a green works. It's super nice. You can just take it where you want to go. Fill it up with water and just go. So we're doing a review on that. This will be on the channel in a couple days. I'll do a review tomorrow. It's supposed to be really, really nice tomorrow. I'm doing a review on that. I'll be power washing uh, uh, the, the Easy Go. And I might as well just power wash these wheels real good and try to just hit some white paint on them. Master the tires up. Not take them on. Just some white paint on the outer. Um, as well as rusted that just to make it look a little bit better but just go over we're not trying to be on no fashion statement the thing already looking really nice the body and integrity of this thing is great so uh next video power washing the wheels will be out for a spin we're gonna take it out for a spin um being all hit the wheels up but i'm excited really am excited so i hope you guys are enjoying this series with this project and I gotta hurry up I gotta hurry up I got cars to deal with I really gotta hurry up the Mustang I can pick it up uh, this weekend but if I don't get this stuff out of here I won't be able to pick it up so I'm gonna get these out of here get the garage really clean get the Mustang in here and really have some fun putting that back together so I gotta get going it's on me now I guess so uh, that's why I'm pushing to I get this the small stuff out the way since I started on I don't like to start on nothing and don't finish that's a pet peeve man I gotta once I start it I have to complete it com I mean all the way completed and like this this is done this is ready to go I just need an air breather and I'm working on the headlight right now got the new seat cover and uh, the, the, the brake light lens cover tail light cover will be here any day now so uh, this is done this is ready to go so I'm out here, I'm creating some awesome content for you guys. Hope you're enjoying it. We're gonna have fun. We're really gonna have fun. And, um, uh, drag racing season come open. I'm gonna talk with somebody right now to paint the Nova uh, and mess with the other cars. So a lot of cool things coming. And I got reviews. I got the Ice Maker review done for the Portable Ice Maker. And we're doing this bad boy tomorrow. It's brand new. We're doing that tomorrow. So we got reviews, uh, car content, the six-wheeler, the uh, three-wheeler, 
Easy Go 1979 with the crocodile seats and um, a whole bunch of more stuff. So once again, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys be notified when I upload new content. Got a bunch of, bunch of cool stuff uh, coming for you guys. Awesome videos, entertaining and how-tos. A bunch of how-tos, bunch of entertaining videos, and just some fun stuff. Terrence and I'm out.